Year 1966, almost after two decades of independence, it was the time teen India as a country was still in the midst of figuring out how to self-manage. Most of the people remember the year 1966 as it was the year when Indira Gandhi rose to power as Prime Minister of India, first and only woman Prime Minister of India. But very few people remember the year 1966 for another special reason. It was the same year when Chadalwada Umesh Chandra was born and I repeat the later is indeed a special reason to remember the year 1966 born in a small village Padapudi Guntur district to Chadalwada Venugopal Rao and Nainatara he did his schooling from Hyderabad public school graduated BA economics from Nizam college in 1987 and did his post graduation MA Economics from Usmania University in 1989 he was very good at academics and was a gold medalist in both graduation and post graduation apart from academics umesh chandra used to very actively participate in sports and other cultural activities as well during college days he involved in numerous social movements and quickly realized his passion to serve the country eventually his patriotism and burning desire got him through UPSC coming to his service umesh chandra began his ips training in warangal district a district notorious for naxal violence within no time his honesty integrity and fairness was recognized by one and all gaining him the reputation as an excellent officer he took on the difficult task of flushing out naxalite immediately He planned and actively participated in all operations and led his team with Panachi. Inspired by his leadership, his team members immersed themselves wholeheartedly in the tasks he set out for them. After completing training, he was posted in the same district as ASP Rural. He continued his onslaught on the next slides and was very successful in apprehending many of them. His seniors were impressed with his work ethics, professionalism, and care towards the people of the district he was very affectionate to the common man he started a highly successful public awareness campaign called jana jagruti umesh chandra from the day one of his service led by example within a short period of time in warangal district his sincerity and unyielding nature attracted kudos from higher ups and in recognition he has been promoted and posted to kadapa district he was next given the task of cleaning up pulivendala kadappa district he was very stern with the anti social element and rid the subdivision of all troublesome characters he also destroyed several gambling centers elections were no more the violent episodes of factional fighting poll booth grabbing murder and mayhem this earned him the praise of the common man many poems and songs were written in his praise during his short stay of 3 months He was publicly honored for his efforts in bringing peace to the area. Umesh Chandra was the first to reach the remote areas with essential commodities and health care teams when floods ravaged the Karappa district. The police force contributed a portion of the pay towards the relief fund. Leaders of all parties from all sections of the community praised Umesh Chandra's work and stint in Karappa. Umesh Chandra liberated the common man from the clutches of factionalism and feudalism umesh chandra has brought factionism to stand still and had the courage to never admit to the influential and stick to what is right his attitude towards work has earned him a special title kadappa tiger his transfer to karimnagar was opposed by every peace loving person in the district the common man civic leaders the police force all expressed great disappointment in the government's action the entire district of kadappa gave their favorite son the favor of a lifetime suffice to say the event was like ever before and never again the scenes from the favel are pretty indescribable such a favel from the people for a police officer never happened in the history of the police department of the country karimnagar was umesh chandra's next assignment this district has always been the worst affected by naxalites 
and their criminal activities of all the districts in Andhra Pradesh. Umesh Chandra continued his war on the next slides. His colleagues opined that Umesh Chandra achieved in his short stay of 10 months what could not be achieved in more than 10 decades. After that, he was promoted as AIG Sports and Welfare and transferred to Hyderabad. The additional charge of computers was entrusted to Umesh Chandra soon after taking charge as AIG Sports and Welfare. Within a span of three short months, Umesh Chandra set up a fully functional modern computer center. He guided the development and deployment of election management software in this short period. Though Umesh Chandra was in service for a short period, but has achieved quite a lot of things. Things like Jana Jagruti, suppressing Naxal and factionist activities, development of election management software and social service activities organized by him during his service are some of his remarkable achievements, which earned him lots of praise from the people. Finally, on September 4, 1999, Umesh Chandra lost his life. When the Naxals attacked him with the weapons on his way to office, at Sanjeev Reddy Nagar Crossroads in Hyderabad. It was the day when many of his followers emerged in deep grief and it took quite a long time for them to get used to the fact that their favorite police officer is no more. Umesh Chandra was survived not only by his wife, father, mother and kids but also his selfless service. He may not be here today with us, but his service and legacy will be remembered and honored forever. While we all appreciate what he has given to his country, his dad's words, heroes never die, tell us what can we do to make his soul happy. Though he was around for a short span of time, but it was a very quality time and led a life which was, is, and will always be remembered and looked up as an example. Some of the unique principles that made him so special and different from others are bravery, morals, responsibility towards the society and willingness to help. His batchmates always feel lucky to having worked with him and very proudly say that they worked during the era of Umesh Chandra, which is believed to be the best period in the history of Indian Police Department. And his period of service is always shared with the new trainees as an example. The perfect hero, I would imagine, is someone who can defend others not only by fighting but standing up for what is right. Umesh Chandra, IPS, is a perfect hero. Please to share about Chadalwada Umesh Chandra, IPS, on his birthday. A man known for his compassion for people created tremors in the Naxal's back gain respect for his principles and dedication towards his duty. This documentary is a tribute to him and his family for all that he has done for his people and country.